What's up, fine people? I just heard some horrible news, and if the rumors are true, I can't think of a single thing, except for maybe the Holocaust, that could possibly be worse than what I just heard. And that's that Ghost Recon is going to become a first-person game. It makes me physically sick just thinking about it. And I've seen some commenters talking about how it's actually going back to its roots. It's going to be a first person game again. Well I have news for you, Ghost Recon was never and it should never be a first person game. I don't know why Ubisoft suddenly thinks that a tactical shooter should have a first person perspective in it, but they're wrong. It obviously shouldn't. And you know these commenters talking about it being in first person are wrong because if they weren't wrong then where's my gun? Do you see a gun on my screen? I don't. Therefore, it's not first person. I see a crosshair. I mean, where do you see a reticle? Do you see reticles when you're actually looking at something? Or do you see it when you're in third person? It's, you know, it's... It, it, this is clearly third person. Because if it weren't, then how would I be able to do this? Look at this. Do you see that? That's my avatar. Do I have control over it? No, I don't. But that's only because this is a different camera of third person, whereas when I switch back to the gameplay camera, which is also third person, nothing changes. That's like the same view I was just looking at because it's third person. This is just a slightly different, it just removes the avatar from the screen, but it's definitely a third person game. It is not first person, so get that out of your moronic skulls, okay, please? If it were a first person game, then Ubisoft would have said it's a first person game at some point. But they didn't. It's always been Rainbow Six, except in an open world, because that's exactly what Ghost Recon was supposed to be. And you'll obviously never see Ubisoft calling Rainbow Six a first person game, so there you go. So now that we've proved that this is actually a third person game and not a first person game, we can get on to talking about why first person is absolutely inferior and third person simply makes sense. A tactical shooter, a ricochet off his dome and into the tree. Do you see this? Do you notice how I have to peek out to see stuff? I can't just use a magical camera to see around walls. That's because this is third person. Do you see? I'm looking exactly at what my avatar sees. His eyes see nothing but the tree, and that's why I see nothing but the tree. It's because this is third person. If this was first person, I would only see a gun, but this isn't first person, okay? Alright, moving on. See, the good thing about the open world is that there are no buildings. So, even if you're crazy enough to think that first-person games have some sort of advantage in, fr in uh, close quarters combat, well, you don't have to worry about that. Because there aren't any buildings in the Ghost Recon game, because it's all open world goodness. So don't worry about needing to use a first person camera to see into buildings to make it easier and more realistic to breach. That stuff doesn't happen in Ghost Recon because it's a third person game and it always has been. The entire reason that Ghost Recon became a name brand that became popular is because it was in third person. See it just seems really disrespectful to the fans, you know the core fans of the franchise, ones who have been there from the start that Ubisoft is gonna switch it into a first person game after what is it, like 23 years, I don't know, over 20 years of being a third person game. Now they want to make it a first person game. As if there's any advantage to having a tactical game be in first person. I mean, look at this. This is top notch tactical gameplay right here. I'm exposed, but I can't see it because I'm back here. And that's good. That's exactly what's tactical. If I aim my gun, it becomes even more third person by moving it closer to the avatar. It makes it more third person. And now I can cheat, which is like uber tactical. That's why every tactical shooter should be in third person. See, I don't know. <laughs> Should I tell you guys? Probably shouldn't tell you. This is top secret information, to be fair. I probably shouldn't tell you guys. It's really... It might actually be a felony to tell you. But this right here is actually 
a real world military tactic. I think it was invented by an actual ghost. You know, the people upon whom Ghost Recon is based. Well, he, he found out that if you do a certain meditation technique, you can actually see 10 meters behind and 3 meters above your body, and then you can use it to look around without ever exposing yourself. So that's awesome. It's high level tactics, and that's exactly why every, well, it's one of the very, very numerous reasons that every tactical shooter should be in third person. It can't even be a tactical shooter unless it's in third person if i really want to be precise with the definition third person is actually so superior to first person that basically every first person game throws a third person camera into it when you're playing third person they never have a first person camera to them it's always the other way around first person games throw a third person camera in it because it's basically necessary if you want to play tactically. And yet the third person games, they never have a first person view in them. Not as if there's ever a point at which you might want to aim in a first person view. If you really want to be accurate, then you use third person because that's just the way real life works. And that actually reminds me of another comment that I've been seeing. People are saying that first person makes more sense because it's more realistic. Well, I mean, first of all, it's a video game, so it's not as if a game can be realistic. There certainly isn't a spectrum of realism, and even if there were one, Ghost Recon wouldn't be attempting to be realistic. That is never something that is ever touted as a feature or a design choice or anything of the sorts. So it really doesn't make sense for you to point out that first person's more realistic, which really, I mean... I don't think it's true, because what's more realistic than being able to look down at yourself as you walk around? I don't know, this is how I live my life, so maybe you're different? Maybe you only see what your eyeballs see? If that's the case, I feel really, really bad for you. I mean, I can't imagine living such a horrible existence use some of the precise third-person viewing, and everybody knows that Ghost Recon fans don't even want Ghost Recon to be realistic, at least not the true Ghost Recon fans, and that's why all of us love the drones in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, because they're super realistic. I mean, wait, they're no, because they're not realistic, we love them. If they were realistic, we wouldn't have loved them at all, we would have hated them, because Nobody wants drones that are realistic. We want magical stuff in Ghost Recon because that's exactly what the game is supposed to be. Therefore, your entire argument about it being more realistic in first person, it's invalid because nobody wants that and that's not what the game was ever intended to be. I think the only reason that Ubisoft is even considering first person is because they're trying to cash in on these trends of uber realistic first person games such as Fortnite. Fortnite, but really they just need to stick to what they know best and that's being third-person tactical shooters that aren't too focused on realism doesn't get bogged down in ballistics and actual movements and it definitely doesn't worry about tactics do you see this is another way in which third person is the obvious choice for a tactical shooter look at this field of view do you see how much more realistic it is? This is exactly what I would be seeing if I were Snake. I could see everything on my peripherals. This is highly realistic. It's really unbeatable. This is exactly what a tactical shooter should be about. You need this wide FOV that's definitely not as restrictive as a first person game. Not that we should be striving for realism in a Ghost Recon game, but if you were to strive for realism, then third person's definitely the way to go. Is this not way more realistic? I could see everything on my right side and everything on my left side. It's not something that you can have in a first person game. These amazingly wide and useful fields of vision. Look how restrictive this FOV is. I mean, this is so much worse than what I was seeing in Metal Gear and basically every other third-person shooter, including the first Ghost Recon. 
it's not as if it's possible to say, I don't know, input some sort of command that would allow you to have a wider field of view. I mean, this engine is from the 1990s, so it certainly wouldn't have such a command if it existed. Unless... Does it? Oh. Oh wait, maybe... Well, it doesn't matter because this is still highly restricted because all I can see is my gun. So it's not like third person when I would have the avatar in the view instead of the gun. I could barely see anything. There's no peripheral vision at all. This is definitely not a wider field of view than Metal Gear Solid had or basically every other third person shooter including the first Ghost Recon so I mean it's definitely impossible for a first person game to have the same field of view as a third person game. Frankly I think it's time that people just admit that third person is superior and there's nothing that first person does that third person can't do. Whereas the reverse definitely isn't true. Everything that first person can do can actually be done in third person. So gone are the days of this restrictive field of view from the first person game. I mean luckily Ground Branch is actually a third person game which is why it actually has a reasonable field of view. If it were a first person game you would obviously be stuck in something as restrictive as this. I mean what is this like 30 FOV or something? It's horrible. I can't imagine not being able to see what's on the left and right side of me as I can in a third person game. I just don't think people understand how restrictive the first person view is. You just can't do the same things in first person that you'd be able to do in third person. So you're limited to the same type of gameplay over and over and over again with everything looking exactly the same. Luckily third person games has the dynamic nature. It allows you to do all sorts of things that third person games have the uh, exclusive ability to do. Another great feature that's only possible in a third person game is inertia. So when I stop moving, he takes a bit more time to stop because he has that momentum he has to counter. Look how cool this looks. The inertia, you can't have this in a first person game. There's just no way. I was really surprised when I found out that Ground Branch is actually a third person shooter because we all know you can't have inertia in a first person game. So as soon as you stop hitting the move key, such as like right now, the avatar didn't move anymore because it, he doesn't have any inertia. See? And you can't counter the inertia because it doesn't exist. That's why as soon as I stop, the avatar stops. There's no inertia. It's just very unrealistic movement. It doesn't feel weighted at all. This feels so much less realistic than the movement in Metal Gear Solid. I mean this is basically a cartoon compared to Metal Gear Solid. Can you imagine this movement being used in a tactical shooter? That wouldn't make any sense at all. So I'm very grateful that this isn't actually... Wait, this isn't a first person game. So this... Wait, this has inertia. That's what it is. This this game has inertia because it's not a first person game. This is a third person shooter. And I know that because, look, there's no gun. Are oh, you still see a gun? Well, what about now? There's no gun. Therefore, 
It's not a first-person shooter. There you go. This is a third-person shooter, just like the original Ghost Recon. You can just switch to the first-person view if you really want to. If you want to not be tactical, you can have the gun in your view. And I find these animations are just so immersive. They make me feel as if I am the character. If I weren't him, then I might be inside of his body and seeing through his eyes. That would be horrible. But luckily, I am him, so I'm actually watching from afar. And that way, I can have my vision obstructed by all of these things that are between the camera and me because that's really useful for a tactical shooter you want to have it so that you're not actually able to see where you're going or what's in front of you do I want to know what he sees no I don't I want to see these crates even though if I were to actually see what he sees, it would be more like this, but uh, even that's still not quite right because it's third person, so it's especially right, it's extra right, it's extra ordinary and uh, superior because I can't see what's going on and I can have all of these things blocking my view and then I can have that immersion of the body disappearing and objects disappearing. It's so immersive, that's the thing. People don't understand how much more immersive third person is. Why would I not want my vision to constantly be blocked by things that aren't in front of my avatar? That would be stupid. Do you know how much easier this would be to see? If I was in third person, I mean even the pistol, it takes up, look how much screen space it's taking up. I can't see anything other than the gun. I simply can't imagine trying to clear this out in first person instead of third person. Not only does the lack of realism really kill my immersion, staring at this gun. Do you think this is what I see when I hold a gun in real life? <laughs> You're stupid. I see the back of myself. I never see the gun, so this type of crap is just really immersion breaking. It doesn't feel tactical at all. Like, I can't even see around these corners, are you kidding me? What type of garbage is this? Who would want to play this game? Who would want to play a first person tactical shooter as if this is what the original Ghost Recon was supposed to play like? No, it was supposed to play like a third person, open world, super duper tactical shooter. The field of view is a problem. I mean, could you imagine trying to clear this in first person instead of third person? It would be horrible. So a big part of the original Ghost Recon and the original Rainbow Six, which were both third person games, is that you had a fear of the unknown because a single bullet could take you out. And the first person game just doesn't have that same feeling because I know exactly where everyone is because I can see instantly. Whereas if I had the third person camera, I'd still be down low. So I wouldn't know. And there'd be such a fear of getting shot because you can't just hide behind walls and see people. So it's absolutely horrible that you're trying to go to this fear-inducing tactical, I mean, untactical, I mean, not fear-inducing, this very relaxing and non-tactical action-based gameplay of the first-person perspective. They really should go with the tactical fear-inducing nature that comes with the third-person shooter. Nobody wants this crap. This plays nothing like the original game. You notice how the only thing on my screen right now is a gun? There's nothing else to see. What's the point of playing a game if you can't even see your avatar doing everything? I mean, I don't want to play a game. I want to watch a game. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but first person lacks the immersion. Another one of the many ways in which first person games are just completely inferior to third person games is that there's no way to know that you're in the world. I mean, you're just a camera. It's not as if there's a body. And what are you going to do if you can't see the body? I mean, how would I know that I'm going to pick up a bottle? I mean, I just see the bottle disappear and I, well, I'm just supposed to assume that I picked it up? That's stupid. I mean, there's no way of solving all of these enormous issues that are really gonna threaten the tactical nature of the game. Like, you go to open a cabinet and the cabinet doors just open. I can't even see my avatar opening the doors. It makes no sense at all. 
how do I know if these candles went out on their own? Or if I actually pressed the button to make them go out? How would I possibly know that if I can't watch it happen? I'm sorry, this is just... It's too much. There's no way to know. And it's inferior in every way. I will not support a first person game. You know, if there was some way to possibly know that I'm interacting with the world in a first person game, instead of just assuming it because, you know, I'm literally interacting with the world, I might consider playing it, but since there's no way to show that the avatar is doing stuff, I'm just not willing to support. You know, the third person games always have perfect control too, so like if I wanted to go back towards the camera, I hold the back key and then he kind of goes toward the camera. And then I hold the forward key and it takes him a little bit, but he eventually goes forward and it, it, I feel as if I'm in total control and there's no way that he would like crouch against that railing when I don't tell him to. And I have the perfect perspective so I know exactly when to turn and I know exactly what's coming up in front of me and he constantly does what I want him to do because it's the superior perspective. If you want to have full control, you want to have third person. And that's basically a requirement in a tactical shooter. You need full control, so you obviously are going to want to have the third person view. I mean, at no point do I feel as if he's snapping to object. Oh, that's a good point, actually. He's snapping to objects. Auto cover is perfect. That's, it goes hand in hand with the beautiful third person movement. They need to exist. They need to coexist. Because if the game doesn't have third person and the automatic cover system, I'm not even going to buy it. It's just not for me. And I don't think anyone's going to buy it really. I mean look at this. I have full control. There's no stupid animations that are making me go ways that I'm not trying to go. I know exactly when to turn. I can turn on a dime. As fast as I move the camera, he turns. Because you want to have full control. And you definitely want to have your avatar snapping to objects at random times. And you definitely want to be stuck in these weird animation loops. Instead of, you know, having the avatar running in the direction that you're telling it to move. And look at this. I'm holding the forward key, but he's not moving forward because he's stuck on a cover. And that's cool, because that's what should happen. Why would he go forward while I'm holding the forward key? Obviously, he'll just move to the left and right as I change the camera angle a bit. But eventually, if I let go, I can get control again. And you don't want to have control, now that I think of it. You don't want control in a tactical shooter. That would be a good way to get yourself killed. So, it's a good thing if the next Ghost Recon game has automatic cover to go with its superior third person view. They really need to stop this first person nonsense. That's simply not what tactical shooters are about. You know, speaking of having control over the avatar, I watched a video by this one moron and he was, you know, he wasn't even a moron. He was an idiot. He was literally an idiot. He was worse than a moron. This kid was talking about how third person controls aren't actually good and how they could be improved if they were to only have the tank controls from Tomb Raider, but improved maybe by double tapping to the left to turn 90 degrees to the left and then double tapping to the right to turn 90 degrees to the right. Well, he didn't actually say that in his video because he forgot to say it because he's an idiot, as I said, but he's talking about how you'd want to have control over whether your avatar turns and how the turning shouldn't change based on the camera's movement so that you have beautiful, beautiful animations such as this where 
The Avatar's doing exactly what it should be doing. Why wouldn't he be doing a slalom when you're trying to run straight? <laughs> Look how good this looks. I mean, third person is all about how good the game looks. You don't want to play the game. You want to watch the game, right? So if you're watching the game, you want it to look good. And therefore, you want it to control like this. Based on the camera's rotation, not the avatar's rotation. It needs to be the camera's rotation. Because then it looks amazing. And nothing gets my immersion going like an amazing looking avatar. All of these amazing animations. Think how bad it would be if you actually had control. Full control. No, thank you. I mean, do you have any idea how challenging it would be to control the avatar? To know that when you hit right, he's going to go right instead of left? I mean, nobody could possibly keep up with that. You would have to be an absolute genius. You would need to be a savant. Now that I think of it, he is an idiot, so I suppose he might be an idiot savant, and maybe that's why he's able to do it, but no one else could possibly figure it out. It's too challenging. It's not as if in every racing game ever made, that's how the cars control. No, that's how tanks control, and it's obviously not going to be that way in a game such as, I don't know, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, Ghost Recon Wildlands, or even this game. I mean, could you imagine if in this game, when you hit to the right, car turns to the right, and when you hit to the left, the car turns to the left, no matter which direction your camera is pointed? I mean, <laughs> that would be so confusing. How could anyone ever figure that? Oh wait, now that I think about it, that's exactly what's going on here. Um... But the thing is, every time I've ever heard someone talk about this game, the first thing they ever say is how bad the vehicles control. How it just doesn't feel right because you don't have to point your camera this way to make it go this way, and then this way to make it go this way. And when you're turning, when you rotate your camera around to look at the front of the car, it's you have to change the inputs. I mean, it would be so much better if it worked like that. So I think that kid just needs to keep his mouth shut, because he sounds even stupider than an idiot at times. I mean, nobody wants control in a tactical shooter, so just keep your mouth shut. There's no reason that me hitting left should make my avatar go left, because without a doubt, third person is superior. I mean, just think about it, if, if we're running through this little uh, setup of Connix, who do you think is going to shoot first? You think it's going to be the person who can see everything instantly? Or is it me who's staring at Connexes? I'm obviously going to win every time. And that's why back in uh, Graw 2, I used to play split screen more often than not. And in split screen, you're forced to use first person. So I, playing with half of a screen, was barely able to spawn camp everyone using their third person, camping corners and poking out like cowards every single game. And it was, I mean, think how much easier it would have been for me to do it every single game if I was using third person and a full screen. But, you know, I made do. And even though first person is extremely inferior I was still able to somehow beat them every single time and I think that's just a testament to how good third person is because it's clearly how tactical shooters are supposed to be played do you know what it might be maybe the reason I was able to beat them is that they were all staring at their avatar because we all know gaming is about staring at the avatar it's not about playing nobody wants to play a game you want to watch a game and that's probably what they were doing they were watching their avatar and that's why i was able to beat them see everything makes sense so it doesn't really matter when there's ugly animations like this because i mean who actually watches a video game. You're there to play the video game, not watch these ugly animations. So, don't even worry about that. Everyone's trying to play a game. They don't want to watch a game. And it really doesn't matter where I go. I'm always going to be first on the draw. Because I have the vision to see everything. Because it's third person. 
with these amazing controls and this amazing perspective that always allows me to see first. Especially if I play tactically, which is obviously camping like this and then using the cheats to see. <laughs> I'll always be the first to draw and I'm never going to run into stuff that I'm not trying to hit. Like that. I, I, I meant to hit that. I was trying to hit that. So, joke's on you. I also was trying to hit that. And uh, it feels great when the camera isn't synced up with the direction that I'm moving. Avatar-based controls would be absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrible. Everyone knows camera-based controls are superior, but regardless of whether they use AB or CB controls, we all know that third person is the way to go. So we must all boycott the next game, especially if they end up making it tactical, because as we all know, people don't want Ghost Recon to be tactical. They don't want Ghost Recon to be realistic. So, yep, this is third person glory. Get to watch the beautiful animations. So I think it's pretty clear that Ubisoft has to reconsider this decision. The only thing we need is third person, and that's the way it's always been. Because nobody wants to play something that's as restrictive and so imprecise. I think I've made it clear enough how third person is superior in every way to first person. And I just wanted to let Ubisoft know that if they include first person in the game, and I don't even mean as the default view, I'm talking about if it exists in the game at all, if ADS has first person, we don't need it. Third person is superior at everything. There's nothing that first person is better at. So if you include that crap in the game, I'm not going to buy it. And I know that there's trillions of other people just like me. I've been on many forums and the consensus is out. If you include first person in your game, nobody's gonna buy it. First person's too restrictive. It ends up being the same game over and over again. It's not as freeing as having a third person view. So I don't want your crap. I'm not gonna buy it. Nobody's gonna buy it. You're gonna have zero sales. Not even your employees are gonna buy it. Not even their family members are gonna buy it. Nobody is gonna buy it. <sighs> Fucking retarded.